show you guys the best part of my outfit. This is sunglasses. Zuh. We're on our way to the El Pollo Loco event with my plus one. <laughs> He's just ready for Sex. food. <laughs> and then we're gonna go grocery shopping and then I have to do a, a solo Target trip. We all know how those go. The grocery store now. I feel like I'm all dressed up for the grocery store today. Place item in bag or cart, then scan next item. Select the item. To Made my board, don't mind my nail. <sighs> my nail popped off right before the event. It was a tragedy. Oh, we're going grocery shopping already. Hey. We're back from the events. I'm in my comfy clothes. I'm ready. So we just went grocery shopping and we always see this girl in the parking lot talking to older men and we're like Why is she always here? Like we're Russ is convinced she's like doing like services So we even went outside and we're like, okay, if her car's there But she's not there and the guy she was talking to when we got there if he's not there They're always older men and she's pretty young and we're like, okay, then they went somewhere and I was like, let's go look and he's like, okay <laughs> But she was there in her car chilling with the AC on she's there Every single time we go, every Sunday, we're just like, what does she do? Maybe she's on her break, babe. Yeah, she's just in a black outfit. No, like, what if she works at Yoshinoya? Wow, we're over here making up stories about her. But anyways, we were like, okay, let's just chill to see if anyone else pulls up. And then another guy almost pulled up, but it's like he saw us, so he didn't pull up right next to her. So we're like, hmm, but it was just, it was too long. So we're like, okay. Yeah, the guy did pull up, didn't get out, didn't do anything, and then we're like, okay, we're gonna wait, we're gonna wait, we're gonna wait. But she never looked up from her phone, like she was on her phone. She never looked up, and then he just took off, he left. So, I don't know if we were making it hot or what. But anyways, we went go shopping, and it, wait, how much was it, under 30? So this is what's on the menu this week. Our menu this week is smoothie for breakfast, as always, and then we're gonna have ground beef. I'm gonna cook that today. I'm gonna take it out actually. Ground beef. Russ has it with rice. You guys, I'm so dumb. I thought my camera was broken, but it's out of memory. I have it with tortillas and eggs. Russ has it with rice and his vegetables. And then for dinner, <laughs> this is okay, this is so funny. For dinner this week, we're having chicken adobo, Filipino style with white rice and green beans. And then we're gonna have chicken with adobo sauce mexican style <laughs> potatoes we have some potatoes for this weekend's breakfast and yeah i need to have four in here let me see oh we're having cream barbecue tonight i forgot yeah, why is it <laughs> i've been craving these i saw this i saw cherries at the store the last three weeks we went grocery shopping and we finally got them our potatoes for this weekend these are the chipotle peppers that I marinate the chicken in. Green beans, bell peppers. Finally cleaned this little area. I don't know if you guys want like YouTube reviews. So we have the new Makeup Forever HD Skin Hydra Glow. They sent over four shades. I'm pretty sure I'm 2N22. I actually have a partnership with them and this drops on February 8th. I'm so excited. They sent me a really nice like note. And then we have the Kosas. This is their new BB Burst. I'm actually really, really, really excited about this. 
but the packaging is so cute. I feel like Kosos is like upping their PR from Living Proof. Oh my gosh, how pretty. Clarify and deep clean. Treat and repair. <gasps> Oh my gosh i was just talking about a clarifying shampoo guys remember let's see oh my gosh it's a clarifying detox shampoo i feel like the luckiest girl that's so funny i took a shower today and was like i can't wait to run out of my detox shampoo so i can try a new one because you guys actually recommended a lot to me in that video and then this one is a hair mask is this Lancome package. I am so spoiled by Lancome. Like, they send so much stuff. We have to opt in for it. And I honestly don't need anything more because they send a lot of, like, repeat items. But I get a lot of it for you guys. Like, now I have an extra one of the Genifique that I can send somebody. This is probably, like, my third bottle of this. Um, so, yeah, I get it. So I just have extra to send you guys, which is exciting. Sometimes there's, like, a new product in here, like, this i haven't tried so i want to try this one because i'm loving the matte version oh my god this is the liner that i love i've already sent some of you guys this so yeah i just like to get it because it's such a nice treat for you guys so i just always i try to opt in for the things that i would like so that you guys would like it you know always like go back and forth about like makeup content on youtube but i'm always like happy to review anything i should just do it huh i should just do it Whatever, fuck it, I should just do it. So I'm just setting up to film now. I just wanna show you guys the PR. It's cooking time, it's Wednesday. I got my pajamas on, I got a headache. I don't know why, I'm on my period. I'm tired, but let's go. Today I'm making chicken adobo with green beans. There's a name for it, but we forget what it's called. It's yummy today. It's gonna be a little bit yummier today because I'm using chicken thighs, not breasts. Today is what we call a one pot meal. Green beans first, actually. So I don't have to cook, I mean clean the board. Green beans, also gonna be some garlic. Things to wash the green beans and as a garbage bowl. And this as the garbage bowl. Uh, make these in bite sizes. Pretty much. I don't mind the little stringy side. So I think I'm gonna make them all like this size. Like, I think with the traditional Filipino version, they have they use a different kind of string bean, like a, a string bean, not a green bean. But this is the Filipino American way. This heated. All right, I'm gonna do salt and pepper and garlic powder. Not too much salt because we're gonna be using soy sauce and soy sauce is already very like salty. I always just do one side and then I do the other side in the pan. A little bit of olive oil so it doesn't stick too much. Not too much though. I'm just gonna get them brown on each side. Typically you do one part vinegar, one part soy sauce. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of fish sauce actually to the chicken while it's cooking. This is like a staple in Filipino food but I feel like not everyone puts this in the adobo, but I'm going to today. If you want to cut the saltiness and the vinegar, add a little bit of sugar or brown sugar. We need bay leaves. This is essential. Oh, and peppercorns. The garlic. Also add this red onion. half a cup because sometimes I feel like it's too soy saucy. I'm gonna cut it with the vinegar in here. My dad and Russ's mom they say one cup one cup but that always just seems like too much to me. Left in there. Do a spoonful of brown sugar. Pepper. Cracked pepper. I'm actually 
actually gonna do like two and a half on the heat. Set my alarm for 15 minutes. Kind of take this apart. Okay. Uh oh, I think the green beans are cooked too much. <laughs> I'm a hot mess. Life is a hot mess right now. But continuing on with the new year cleaning, I'm finally going to clean underneath our sink because I just have so much like skincare I brought over for when we moved. We only use like this front stuff and then some like pimple patches. So I just want to use this space for new skincare because I have. Down here, on this side, we have so much storage, but on this side I have a box of like skincare, like when I run out of things and I wanna use, so I kinda wanna like transfer that down here. Okay, we use the lotion, we use the Listerine, I use my micellar water. Oh, this is my toner that I love to use my castor oil for my hair this is so old so i'm gonna get rid of this this is why i like to use products before i open a new one because i wasted this and i actually really like this peach and lily ginger melt oil cleanser but it's old now so i can't use it especially when it comes to your skin like with makeup i know it's weird i'll use expired makeup but i don't like to use expired skincare it's just different this one is from Pharmacy. This is their balm. I was using this before the new oil that I got, and I didn't finish this before I started. So I'm going to keep this because I think it still has... Yeah, this still has time. So if my oil runs out, I can use that. I have a lot of new stuff under here, so I'll show you guys some new stuff later. This is my GHD Platinum Plus. It comes in this cute-ass box. I might have to take it out because it's just so bulky, but we'll see if I can fit it down there. Russ's contact solution. Okay, so I have this tanner from Bonnie Bondi Sands, and I actually really like it. I use oh my god, what color did I use? Oh, I use magenta. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I used this one. So I'm gonna keep this because I really like this. But I could put these in giveaways because they're not open yet. Oh my gosh, these are so good. I'm keeping these because these are not opened yet. There's no expiration on these. I'm not noticing. But these are chemical exfoliating facial peels, which means they're chemical exfoliators. So I'm definitely keeping that. Oh, look how cute. I forgot I had this little jar with my little things. I think I'm going to keep this. Oh my gosh, I have ordinary stuff that I never even opened to use. I have a lot of pimple patches down here. I've, this whole bag is full of more <laughs> chemical exfoliators, which I love, and some eye masks. And then down, yeah, we just have hella pimple patches. I have my brow, instant brow lift. I mean, sorry, brow tint and my lash lift kit. I use this for lashes and brows. the gradual tan body glow <gasps> thankfully they come in packets yay so i can just keep the packets which is really nice put in our soap right now i should take that out i'm just gonna leave the pads in their bag <sighs> yeah. so see now we put these things I don't know if Russ is gonna like that. I think I'll leave this out. 
have this. I'm gonna put my toner and my makeup remover, and then I'm just gonna put all the pimple patches. vitamin C serums in the back. I don't use them as often and then just like hydrating serums in the front. I'm gonna put these serums since they're like bigger in the back here. Another oil to foam cleanser from Dermalogica. other storage space which I think I'm gonna put my tanning stuff in here. A little bit better. <laughs> Grocery shopping was a biatch today. It is pouring rain. Pouring. We went to Costco and the grocery store. $10. It was like seven something. Such a freaking good deal. At Target, it's like eight to ten dollars for this for just one. This is seven dollars for three. I can't get over how like affordable cost is. <laughs> this is the bag I went under with. Our mix nuts. This is the best snack ever. I have to dry all this stuff. Every Filipino household <laughs> needs these <laughs> lifesavers. I, I grew up on these. You just pop open a can, put in the microwave for a minute, put some rice in there, and some Tabasco. Those, they're not my favorite, personally. Okay. Some glasses. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Huh? I'm just gonna
good butt on there. Can I get the pan? guy if he wanted chips at the store because I knew he was going to want to test the chips or test the pico with the chips so we didn't get any so I had to make some fresh chips Just need some meat. This is salsa and his pico de gallo and sour cream in here to keep it cold. Salt, the pico, and the 